Wait for it. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Did you hear it? I was afraid since I started filming they wouldn't happen and I would just look like really stupid for trying to show you guys my hiccups. But anyways, what is up you guys? It's Amber, welcome back to my channel. And yeah, I have had the hiccups literally all day. So if I randomly hiccup in the middle of this intro, apologies, I don't know how to get rid of them. But like most of my intros, that has nothing to do with this video. So let's just get to the point, shall we? Tonight I thought it would be fun to go ahead and give you guys a little closet tour because a lot of you guys have been asking to see what my closet looks like and since moving into my new apartment I finally have my dream closet kind of all organized sort of asterisk-ish. So I just thought I would give you a little quick tour of it so you can see how my closet life is. That sentence made no sense but that's okay, you get the point. So without further ado, here we go, my very extra closet tour. Are you guys ready to go inside? <gasps> Great, I'll take you. Dun, 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 dun. I have so many clothes, they're like peeking out. Okay, here we go. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Um, I'm sorry the lighting isn't that great in here. I don't know what to do about it I think it might be the hat that I'm wearing but also it's the middle of the night and I have like weird fluorescent lighting in here So sorry about being orange, but you know just roll with it, but are you ready to get started? I'm so excited to show you guys this Okay, so you can see my closet is kind of like 360 degrees. It goes in a full circle. It's huge It's like a whole separate room. I have literally two doors count them one door two doors that's the most beautiful number of doors I've ever seen. All right, so you can barely tell, but I kind of have my closet organized by colors, kind of. So this is the really unorganized side, so we'll start here, but you can see I kind of have like all of the black stuff here, all of the whitish gray things, denim. Like I said, this part isn't organized very well at all, but you can still kind of see there's like a little bit of a vibe sort of. I didn't do the best job. I'm not exactly like the queen of organizing, but you know, I tried. As someone who's extremely unorganized, this is a very nice start. You can see all of my hangers are the same too. They're all black little velvet hangers with the gold heads on them. Oh, so cute. And I always have them all facing the same direction because I feel like it just looks more aesthetically pleasing that way. So if we move on from this side, we can go do this side's clothes. Here I have more of the basic stuff. So I have literally like 100,000 of the same looking basics. I'm obsessed with these, by the way. These are from a place called Meshki, which I'm like in love with. So I'm always getting things dirty with my tanning lotion. So I just need to buy multiples of stuff. So all of my basic things are over here. Like this jacket is so cool. This was actually my mom's in the 80s. How fun is that? Oh, she looks so cute in it too. Very extra personalized stuff. Like, oh my gosh, this is actually a full tracksuit with my name on the back. How fun is that? Ooh, look at that aesthetic. Gorgeous. And now my personal favorite rack. Oh, beautiful. This is what I call my fancy fur rack, even though it's all faux fur. I'm a vegetarian, but I've got my beautiful, all my fluffy things right here because they look so beautiful together. Oh, such a mood. Like, look at this. Wow. I love it. I also have my fancier DIY clothing on this rack, so keep that here. I just feel like this is like the rack of honor. By the way, you guys are always asking if I actually wear the DIY clothes I make all the time. I made them. I love them. <laughs> All the other weird funky stuff is on here too. Like what even is this? I don't know, but it still has the tag on it. A lot of my clothes still have the tag on it because I have a shopping addiction and I buy stuff and don't know like where to go. Like where do you go wearing this? I don't know. If you're me, you'd wear it to Trader Joe's, which honestly, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna probably do that later, but for now I'll just go ahead and slip that off. Actually, side note, um, my outfit of the day is so cute. So pause, we're gonna do that in a lookbook the other day but it's so cute I've got my little like train conductor outfit on little hat with a matching overall set thing and a turtleneck oh the cutest little train conductor I ever did see but anyways back to the tour um here we go Ooh, ignore my messy bathroom okay here we go back inside the heaven land wow oh well I guess we'll go ahead and do this now because well we're already here 
All right, so I mentioned in my 10 things you didn't know about me video the other day that I have hundreds of bajillions of pairs of shoes, so I like to rotate them out depending on what my mood is for the week, but these are the shoes that I currently have on display, so here we go. I have a couple of my like specialty hats up here. Then you can see I have a couple of pairs of my shoes sitting here. We got the sparkly ones, a couple of fake designer ones, you know, shush, don't tell. Then we've got, if you come down here, oh, I guess we've got my hats and stuff here. So that's fun. Then we've got my real designer sneakers over here. So fun, so fun. Oh, look at these, my dream babies. And these were like the coolest running sneakers I'd ever seen. So I'll do like a full video of trying on all my shoes at some point. But you can see we have like literally just a bajillion more down here. Um, oh, and my crying Kim backpack. That's where I keep it so I can see it every day. Because it just makes me laugh every time I see it. So I always want it on constant, constant display. So if I suddenly grow 100 inches and I'm on the top here, you can see. <gasps> these are the chandeliers that I made in my little DIY chandelier video. I have two of them. I have one over here and then the other one on the other side right here. You can see how beautiful those came out. Oh my god. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Also while I'm up here, I guess I'll show you. Oh well, more shoes are just in the background now. So I guess, huh, what do you think of this? More shoes. That wasn't what I was going to show you, but I guess I'll show you now. More shoes. Right here in the middle of the two doors, I have this other little shelfy closet thing. So this is where I keep, um, you know, more shoes. <laughs> oh, look at how beautiful these are. I just love my shoes. I could look at them all day. Then we have this kind of little drawer set up here, which is a built-in drawer thing. So I actually, I mean, I would say I keep these clean, but I don't. Um, I keep a bunch of spare hangers in here because, I mean, I'm a shopaholic, so I always need to have some extra hangers for my new goodies. Then I have super organized drawers. I don't even remember what's in this drawer. Hmm. Random. All right, anyways. Believe it or not, to me, these drawers actually are organized because these are all tops, these are all bottoms. So yeah, it's totally a mess inside, but at least they're all kind of the same, um, I wanna say the same genre of clothing, but that's definitely not what I mean, so. What do I mean? Type? Ca category? Category, I guess. They're all sort of the same category of clothing, so it makes it easy when I just wanna pick something out really quick on a whim. I can. It's called organizational deorganization. I just made that up, but that's what it is. As my mom would say, a professional dirty Dan. <laughs> so that's that, and randomly, oh, I guess you can see this too. Um, this is kind of gross, but whatever. How funny is this little laundry container? I forgot this at TJ Maxx for like 10 bucks. It was hilarious. Um, this is where I keep my dirty laundry. I just kind of keep it in a pile over there so I can just grab it and do my laundry whenever need be. I have a washer and dryer in my apartment, so super fun. Like you can see I have like more dirty clothes here and randomly there's actually a hole in my kitchen. I didn't know what to put here, so I put a mirror <laughs> because I need decorating help. So if anyone knows what to put in this weird hole, let me know. I would love advice. Um, but yeah, anyways, you can see that right there. So in addition to my laundry bag on the floor, I also have <gasps> this beautiful tufted masterpiece. It's like velvet tufted little ottoman thing. I am obsessed with it. I think it's the cutest ever, which looks way cooler in real life than it does on camera. I don't know why it looks like it's two different colors, but you know, it's fine. Use your imagination. It's just so soft and fun. I got it on Amazon like a couple days ago, so I can like camp out in my closet now. Live in here if I want. <laughs> Actually, I can't even say that. I'll tempt myself. So, uh, any whoosie, let's sit up and uh, do the rest of the two up. Okay, so you can also see that in all of the little above shelfy areas, I put all of my favorite shopping bags and boxes because they're just so beautiful. They make everything look fabulous and gorgeous. You guys know I love shopping, so there's no shortage of bags to decorate everywhere. So whenever I go shopping and buy something, I just always save the box. Like this was from the perfume that I bought, bought in my haul. This was from buying a lipstick. So if you want to get the fancy bags without spending a lot of money, you can buy a lipstick for like 30 bucks in the designer section of department stores and they'll give you the fancy bag for free. Plus, I'm a little bit of a hoarder, so I like hate throwing things away. So it totally comes in handy that I can say I collect the shopping bags. Collecting is just a nicer word for hoarding, but you know, <laughs> no one has to know that. Except all of you guys, I guess, because I just told you, but okay. Anywho, eh? So most of the bags and boxes are from my shopping adventures. However, this one is special. This is so embarrassing, like top secret information. But back when I was driving for Postmates, I was delivering something to this really fancy Bel Air house and I couldn't help but notice that their trash outside was like literally overflowing with fancy things like Tiffany bags and this box. 
I took it out of their trash and kept it in my room as life inspo. So if you watch some of my really old videos, you'll actually see it sitting in the background. Um, yeah, so I actually stole this box out of someone's trash. <laughs> Saying that sentence makes me sound so crazy, but see I've managed to buy myself quite a few of my own boxes But this one will always have a special place in my heart. So if that doesn't show you that dreams do come true I don't know what does <laughs> It's probably illegal FBI if you're watching this, please don't arrest me. Okay, so so there we go, you guys. That is pretty much my closet. Um, I wish I had more exciting things to tell you about it and to explain, but I really don't have too much. That is my closet. Um, yeah. What else am I supposed to do in this tour? Like, I feel like I should do something else. I feel like that was boring. I'm singing. I'm in a closet. And I'm singing. What's that? You loved it? You want me to sing more? No, I'm kidding. Don't worry. I'll spare your ears. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little closet tour. I can't believe I used to dig through people's trash for their designer boxes. And now I'm able to buy my own and put them in my very own dream closet. I know I say it a lot, but it's true. Absolutely nothing I have would be possible without you guys. So thank you so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. Having a million friends who are so soft and kind and loving and supportive of me and my dreams um I'm gonna cry again but I told myself I was gonna stop crying in my videos because it always messes up my mascara and that's like not a good look so just know when I say thank you I truly 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 mean it I wouldn't trade sharing life with you guys for anything so thank you again for watching and I'm so amazed by the love and everything that you guys show me and each other so thank you for being the best subscribers in the world the angel fam truly is the best fam in my own humble opinion but also it's the truth if you're new to the fam, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all sorts of more fun nonsense. And I will see you guys next time from me and my absolute dream closet to you. Kisses till next time, my angels. XO. Wow. This really is my dream. Honestly, maybe I'll just sell my apartment and live in my closet. Or maybe I'll just convert the whole thing to a closet. Honestly, I live alone. Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> I'm kidding, but not really.